remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath. For people wanting to obey the Bible commandments, the question is, which is day one? All can count to seven, but where does the count begin? How can you know which is the true seventh day? The Creator who made the week also designed a month in which to place that week. The calendar of creation begins with New Moon Day, followed by four complete weeks. Each week contains six work days and a seventh day Sabbath rest. In the beginning, the Creator designed the movement of the sun and the moon to measure time. Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons, religious gatherings, and for days and years. Two great lights were set in the firmament of the heaven to rule over the day and over the night. Time can be measured only by movement. The movement of the sun measures a day. In 365 and a quarter days, the sun and the earth return to the same relative position. This is one solar year. The moon's 29 and a half day rotation measures a lunation, which is the basis of the month. 12 and a third lunations are the same length as a solar year. There are three basic calendar formats using the movements of the sun and the moon. One solar, two lunar, three lunisolar. Number one, solar, the measurement of the movement of earth and sun. Solar calendars use the sun for measuring the length of the year only. Months of arbitrary length have no link to nature. On the Gregorian solar calendar, weeks cycle continuously. Even leap day every four years does not disrupt the continuous weekly cycle. Lunar, the measurement of the moon's rotation. Lunar calendars are based strictly on the cycles of the moon. Months, which begin the first dawn after conjunction, cycle continuously without adjustment to the solar year. Because 12 lunations are 11 days shorter than a solar year, lunar months float through the seasons. Lunisolar, lunar months anchored to the solar year. The sun and the moon functioning together make a lunisolar calendar. Lunations are adjusted to the longer solar year by adding a 13th month seven times in 19 years. The weekly cycle restarts with every new moon. Each lunation has four complete weeks. The calendar established at creation is lunisolar. It is the most accurate and precise of all timekeeping systems. In scripture, each lunation starts with the celebration of a special day of worship, New Moon Day. New Moon Day starts with the first dawn after the astronomical new moon, also known as the conjunction. Six work days follow, and then a seventh day Sabbath on the eighth of the month. Three more weeks follow, ending on the 29th. Through measurement and calculation in the days leading up to the 29th, the time of conjunction is revealed so one can determine if the month has 29 or 30 days. No month, 
ever has more than 30 days. The true loony solar calendar is very user-friendly. Days of the week always fall on the same dates of the month. Every time a Seventh-day Sabbath in Scripture is assigned a date, it always falls on the 8th, 15th, 22nd, and 29th days of the month. Scripture states that the moon was created specifically to measure times for worship. He appointed, created, the moon for seasons, that is, worship times. Creation week ended with the Sabbath day's rest. Exodus 31 states that the Sabbath is to be kept throughout all generations. Verily my Sabbaths ye shall keep, for it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations, that ye may know that I am your Maker that doth sanctify you. The seventh day Sabbath was designed by the Creator to be the sign of loyalty between Himself and His people. The enemy, Lucifer, has changed the civil calendar and stolen the worship due to the Creator. Through tradition and assumption, Lucifer has united the world in using a solar calendar with continuously cycling weeks. When one worships, reveals whom he worships. All who use a solar calendar for calculating their days of worship are unknowingly giving their allegiance and worship to the great deceiver. Those desiring to show their allegiance to the Creator will worship Him on the day He has designated. To find the correct day of worship, the loony solar calendar established at creation must be used. Scripture reveals that the calendar used for worship throughout all eternity will be based upon the new moon. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another, shall all flesh come to worship before me. Whom do you worship? To whom do you give your allegiance? The calendar you use to measure time for worship reveals the deity you worship. <laughs>